and welcome. This is my channel, Chrissy Love. I am Chrissy. It is fantastic to have you here. I talk exclusively about perfumes on this channel. And today I am talking about a really exciting house called Un Nui Nomad. And I have this discovery kit from them. And I'm going to be talking about a bunch of their fragrances. Now this house is based in Paris. Uh, the founders are Alexandra Kubizoles, who is an Ashtanga yoga practitioner, and Philippe Solas, who is a Shiatsu massage practitioner. And they met while working at Universal Music. And they came together and said, we want to create a line of perfumes that draw on our experience of travel and create an experience of travel just by smelling the perfume, right? That olfactory experience um, of, of a new world, of new ingredients, of feeling like you're placed somewhere else, either in time or regionally, and that it just brings you to a different place. And that quality really comes through in their perfumes. They have an eye on sustainability ecologically. Um, they also have an eye on their impact on the economy and you know, like their best practices for their hiring and on all the infrastructure that happens in a company. Um, so they're really focused on sustainability and um, having a positive impact on the world. So for that reason too, they're just a really fantastic house. So their discovery kit, which I purchased on the CEO Bigelow website, actually you can also get samples on their website, but I have nine perfumes here. I'm going to talk about which I have given a full wear test to all of these and they each have a little card with a description and also a really pretty image to go along with the scent. So you can spray the card and, and smell it before you put it on your body. And these to me are really conceptual scents. There's a couple I would wear around, but most of them are really pungent, really intense, um, and definitely bring you to a unique place. Um, the people around you may not appreciate that place because they're very strong, most of them. Um, but I'm gonna talk about them and just how beautiful and unique they are, and maybe you'll be inspired to get your nose on them as well. So before I jump in, thank you so much for your likes and comments and subscribes. It means a lot to me, my little boutique channel, sitting here in my little corner of the fragrance world on YouTube. But it's a journey and I'm loving it and loving having you on this journey with me. So let's jump into Un Nui Nomad. So I'm starting off with nothing but sea and sky. So this is what the card looks like. I'm just going to spray it here to remind myself a little bit. Mm. So the top note is bergamot, the heart note is sandalwood, and the base note is musk. And in the description it says it's based on the poetry of Walt Whitman. He wrote, I guess, a poem called From Montauk Point. Uh, and this is supposed to be inspired by that. Uh, at Montauk Point, also called the end, the world stops during winter. The sky is veiled in pale white and the breath of a blizzard sprinkles the beach with snowflakes. The rough sea gives the impression of a large cotton field in bloom. So that is the description on the card here. Now when I first spray this, I get really buttery, oily, clean musk. So not buttery in like a pastry sense, but just really oily. Um, it also has that really dusty, dry sandalwood. But then on my skin in the dry down, it becomes very salty, very vegetal, and that still has that strong dry sandalwood. So really quality ingredients, um, but really punches you in the face with that sandalwood. It is dusty and oily and salty. And, and I wouldn't say it reminds me of like a beach vacation, <laughs> but more like if I were stranded out on a boat in the middle of the ocean, and I was smelling like the wood of the boat, the salty sea, some dirtiness. You know, my skin was kind of oily because I haven't showered in a month because I'm out in the middle of the ocean. Like that's more of what it conjures. <laughs> um, performance wise, it is beast mode. Oh my goodness. I could smell this on my skin all day, all night, into the next day. You just cannot get it off of you, but this is truly a scent experience. So this is nothing but sea and sky. Next I have here, Bohemian Soul. And it says, in 1966, the documentary Endless Summer was released, chronicling two American surfers' quest to push time zones further away so the summer never ends. 
free spirits from the gypset trend are pursuing this dream and Montauk became the preferred destination. There's Montauk again. An isolated place from the world where untouched nature and eco-luxury connect. Eco-luxury, it kind of sounds like a buzzword, doesn't it? <laughs> but the notes are um, olibin olibinum, artemisia absinthium, heart notes of guac wood, iris, and myrrh, and base notes of musk and sandalwood. So those are some pretty intense um, scents there. Now, when I first spray this, I really get turpentine and also like the wood the turpentine is on, like a wood treatment scent. Um, and then in the dry down, it smells very smoky, like a deep smoked wood, like used for like grilling or something, very smoky wood. And the performance is also beast mode on this one. So last forever in a day. So this is one if you really like kind of more unisex scents, it definitely falls in that category. Smoky woody. Mm, it's not very sweet though. Um, it's really pretty straightforward woods. Mm. Yeah, but it is really lovely. So that is Bohemian Soul. This next one is the most me scent of the bunch. And it is called Memory Motel. And it says, Andy Warhol found himself under Montauk's spell while in search of a hiatus from life. He rented his mansion in the summer of 75 to the Rolling Stones, who were rehearsing for their pre-recording of what would be one of their greatest albums, Black and Blue, which include the melancholy ballad, Memory Motel. This eponymous perfume is our burning tribute to those restless, turbulent times. And the note, top note is bergamot, the heart notes are iris, incense, and carnation, and the base notes are mosses, patchouli, vanilla, tobacco, and leather. And when I first spray this, I get like a spiced apple cider or a spiced mulled wine, so really yummy. It has clove and cinnamon. It kind of has this like citrus kind of feel to it. Again, that's not the notes, but that's just like what I get. I get really clove and cinnamon in this. And then in the dry down, it says this sweet incense, like it's an actively burning, kind of smoky, sweet incense, musky. I definitely get that patchouli. So it has that like patchouli burning incense scent. It's soft, it's comforting. It's really a nice unisex scent, I think, if a man likes a little bit of sweetness. Beautiful on a man or a woman, super sensual. Mm, this is definitely one of my very favorites. I would really consider purchasing this one after giving it like another good week of wear um, just to make sure. But this also is a great performer. So lasts forever, projects really beautifully. You'll smell on you forever. Mm, just smelling it on the card. I kind of want like, I want this in a candle. I want this in a body spray. I want this in a perfume. I want it in everything. This is like just a really lovely scent. Um, and when I say like a spiced apple cider, it's, it's not particularly gourmand. Um, it just kind of like reminds me of like that calming fall vibe drink. Mmm, really lovely. So this is Memory Motel. The next one I have here is Jardin de Misfa, so Misfa Gardens. And this says, in the village of Misfa al Abriin, the thousand and one nights are at your fingertips. In the midst of flowery alleyways, the joyful laughter of water flowing from terrace to terrace, and the palm trees as far as the eye can see, one cannot then forget the words of Amin Malouf. A, bit, a bite of date not only contains flesh that nourishes your body, but the sweetness, scent, and color that nourish your spirit. So the top notes are cardamom and nutmeg. The heart notes are date accord, rose absolute, and rose essence. And the base notes are saffron and almond. This is another kind of sweet, comforting one, not too pungent. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Elderflower Cordial by Jo Malone, which is part of their new Marmalade collection. And I actually did a full review of all of those perfume colognes. So I'll put a link to that below. Um, but this one, um, when I first spray it on my skin, it's kind of funny because it has like this burnt doll's hair, kind of musky scent to it. But then in the dry down, that's when it really blooms. So after the first like few minutes, honestly, it doesn't take very long to bloom. And I get more of that date accord. I get the almonds. It's sweet. Um, it has like this um, beautiful rounded fruit kind of scent, a little bit spicy. Mm. But the, unfortunately, the performance is rather poor on this one, just like with Elderflower Cordial, unfortunately. Um, it really stays a skin scent for most of the time you're wearing it. It only projects for the first hour, so you have to really respray it. It's really a skin scent, but it's a comforting, lovely one. Great for like snuggling up on the couch or going to bed. Really lovely. Um, the rose gives it just like a little bit of sophistication. Mm. 
this is a really pretty one. Um, and I would say it's probably unisex as well. Um, more, a little bit more feminine because it is a little bit more sweet. Um, but it's like a, a natural sweetness, not like a sugary cotton candy kind of sweetness. So this is another one that's like just really lovely and, um, whatever memory it might hold for you, I think you'll find it really comforting. So that is Jardin de Misfa. Next I have Ombre Conjar. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Not sure. Um, and here it says, the Souk of Mutra is found in the heart of the oldest city in the Middle East, the capital of the Sultanate of Oman Muscat. It is the perfect place to spend a small fortune for a legendary Kanjar. The Kanjar is a dagger bent in the shape of a J. Our fragrance is Ombre Kanjar. It's a tribute to the power of tradition. And the top notes are Mandarin and Black Plum. The heart notes are Cystus Labdanum, Absolute, Vanilla Pod O2, Oris Absolute, Ylang Ylang, and the base notes are sandalwood, patchouli, benzoin, and resinoid. So this is a really spicy, resinous one. Now, when I first spray it on my skin, it is very resinous, labdanum. It kind of has almost a chemical-y scent. Uh, it has some spice, and I really get like a dirty patchouli. But in the dry down, mm, it turns into this really vanillic, sandalwood. It has a little bit of like a dirty patchouli tang to it. So if you don't like patchouli, you probably won't like this one. It's definitely a dirty patchouli. Um, but it's it's spicy. It's sexy. It's fascinating. I think it's really unique. So this is one if you kind of like the um, Middle Eastern style perfumes, a little bit of spice, um, that that depth and a little bit of like challenge to it, you know, like it's, it's definitely a daring perfume that enters the room before you do. Um, performance wise, it really lasted on my skin. I couldn't get it off. Um, projection after a few hours does fade a little bit. You would need to respray. Um, but that first like hour or two, it like, really enters the room before you do. It is just so sexy. Mm. And this is Ombre Kanjar. Now for the chocolate lovers in the house, we have Suma Oriental. And it says here, Suma Oriental refers to the brilliant collection of writings by Tomé Pérez, a Portuguese apothecary in the 16th century. A very detailed description of an insular Southeast Asia Suma Oriental revealed for the first time that sandalwood originated in the Sumba or modern day Indonesia. His work inspired renowned perfumer Koti, we all know who that is, right? To create the 1934 fragrance A Suma, which evoked the moonlit beaches of Bali. And the top notes are Cipriol, Cipriol, C-Y-P-R-I-O-L, Cipriol, rum and cocoa. Heart note is patchouli and base notes are sandalwood, tonka bean, cashmere wood, guac wood, clear wood, and musk. And when I first put this on my skin, it's a bitter dark chocolate. It is tonka smelling, it's patchouli, it's strong and herbal. Uh, it's a really dry and heady sandalwood type scent. Um, mm, really deep, woody, uh, and that, that chocolate doesn't add sweetness. It adds like real cocoa scent to it. And in the dry down, I get bitter herbs and cocoa. So it's not sweet, it's very dry and woody. Um, really deep and kind of decadent in its own way without being like a dessert. Mm. This is another really pretty woody one. Uh, it has a beast mode performance. Again, entering the room before you do, this is going to knock them off their their socks or knock their socks off or whatever you mean. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, this is another one that's like really sexy and uh, daring as well. So definitely worth checking out if you like like that real natural cocoa smell. Uh, not gourmand, but just like that heady cocoa. And that is Suma Oriental. So I just wanted to reiterate what a quality perfume house this is. After you've smelled a lot of perfumes like I have, you can just pick up, whether you like the scent itself or not, you can just tell when it's that real quality ingredient. And all of these have that in spades. I highly recommend checking out this house. And that is certainly no exception in my next one, which is Mr. Vetiver. So I'll read the back of the card here. This is a story about a man encountered somewhere near Java. People say he is tall with skin that has been tanned by the sun and tattooed by the passage of time. He can often be spotted on the plains of the Garou regions, speeding along in his old Dutch bicycle. But who is he? Mm. So the top notes are cardamom, grapefruit, lime, basil, and tarragon. 
heart note is geranium and the base notes are vetiver, piri piri, amber, wood, and mosses. And when I first spray this, I definitely get really dry woods and an herby tarragon green note. So really natural, only natural sweetness, just a hint of it. Um, you would think it'd be kind of cologne-like because it's like about a man, but it's not particularly masculine or feminine. It's quite unisex, very herbal. And the dry down, it turns into this bright, zesty green with woods. So there's not really much sweetness, at least on my skin with this one. Mm. But it's just a really natural herbal scent. And I don't really get lime, but I absolutely get tarragon. I get the geranium. It's definitely some floral. Uh, and definitely woody. So a lot of these perfumes, if they have wood in them, you really get those woods. <laughs> it becomes the primary note. Uh, so a really pretty one, not like a typical perfume, like it smells more like it might be a candle or something or a room spray that I would really want to smell like this, but the quality is absolutely there. It is really um, beautiful in its way. And that also, the performance is beast mode. It lasts forever. It's just incredible. Um, so the, that, that high quality ingredient just really sticks to your skin. So Mr. Vetiver also has really beast mode projection and longevity for our performance. The next one is a beautiful one for real true floral lovers. That is Fleur de Fleur, which is just flower of flowers. And this is what the card looks like. And it says, Bali Island of Flowers, the Ylang Ylang is so highly prized for its complex fragrance and incomparable benefits for the mind and body that it means flower of flowers in the Malay language. Jasmine is the queen of the night, patiently waiting for sunset so she can release her powerful warm perfume into the air. So the top notes are bergamot, saffron, and grapefruit. The heart notes are jasmine, ylang ylang, tuberose, and wisteria, and base notes are benzoin tears. Does benzoin cry? <laughs> Sandalwood, vanilla, amber, and oud wood. And when I first spray this, the Ylang Ylang really comes out strongly. I'm getting that in full force. I'm not really getting any citrus, but I do get this resinous sweetness from the benzoin and the sandalwood. It's still quite herbal and very realistic floral Ylang Ylang. And the dry down, that carries through. That realistic Ylang Ylang, super strong. It turns with a bitter green note. And in the background, I get really like a fresh uh, miscellaneous floral. So this definitely dries down into a really beautiful floral. I think Ylang Ylang is the star, but it's just all around a pretty floral. Um, it's very straightforward. Like it's, it's a little bit powdery, but it doesn't really have a lot of complexity going on. I wish the vanilla sweetened it up a little bit. I mean, this amber in here, um, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing is rounding out and making this more of a sophisticated experience, but it's not really adding sweetness or any of that depth. It's really quite a floral perfume, but if you like that, it's one you definitely want to get your nose on. It is gorgeous. Uh, performance wise, definitely beast mode, really strong. It just like flew off my skin all day. I couldn't get it off of me. And that is Fleur de Fleurs. For the final one, I have Murmur de Dieu which means murmur of the gods. It says, this perfume pays homage to Bali's iconic flower, the Frangipani flower. Both a symbol of the god Shiva and a way to channel prayers, its vivid colors decorate in most temples. An olfactory phrase like a mantra on the skin, its delicate accord intertwines the slightly almond sweetness of the Frangipani flower, the unconsciousness, un unconsciousness, I never even heard that word before. Um, anyway, of the vanilla and the reassuring roundness of musks. Now the top notes are bergamot and ylang ylang. The heart notes are hedian, frangipani, and elami. And the base notes are benzoin tears, cyst labdanum, vanilla, amber, and musk. And when I first spray this on my skin, I get kind of a synthetic plasticky note with a sharp herbal bitterness. So not really what they're going for or what I think I really want to be getting out of this, but the dry down is where it really shines. It becomes this earthy amber with this tang to it, which I think is like a floral tang that I'm getting, but it kind of has like a spoiled milk type vibe. And then the ylang ylang really comes out. It's really the strongest note in here. Hmm. But what it has is it's not just a floral. It definitely has this like earthy amber vanillic sense to it. It's powdery. It's a little bit sweetened. Um, it's really a unique experience, actually. It's, it's kind of almost hard to describe. Mm, it kind of reminds me of like baby powder 
with like amber and some florals in it. Mm. So it's, it's comforting, um, it's happy, it's angelic, it's light. Um, performance wise, it performs really well. It's definitely a base mode perfume again, really strong ingredients, really powerful ingredients. It sticks to you all day and a half, uh, projects really nicely. So this is a good one for the floral lover who wants more than just a straight floral, who wants kind of like a powdery, angelic undertone to it. So this is really beautiful, guys. And also really unique. I never smell anything quite like this. So it's Murmur de Dieu. So that is my review of the Discovery Kit perfumes from Une Nuit Nomad. Please check out this house. They really are incredible quality, really unique. And I think there's something to love for everyone here, whether it's sweet, floral, resinous, woody, man, woman, whatever it is, I think there's something for everyone here. So check it out. Let me know if you've experienced them before or which one you think you might try. Thanks so much for being here and I hope you have a very beautiful day.